lovelies welcome or welcome back to my channel in this video I wanted to talk about stress as you guys already know stress is one of the main causes of weight gain especially around our bellies so I wanted to talk about some simple methods that you could do at home some of the herbal and natural remedies that you could actually use on a daily basis to lower your stress coming right up three two one If you guys are new here, my name is Seppi and I've lost about 50 pounds over the past few years and I've been able to keep it off the healthy, sustainable way. So I'm here to share with you my passion for nutrition and weight loss. So if you're into that, make sure you consider subscribing to my channel. So initially I'm going to be talking about what is stress, what is chronic stress and how important it is to actually lower our stress throughout the day and then I'm going to give you 10 herbal recipes on top of some tips to lower your stress on a daily basis. Stress happens due to an imbalance within your central nervous system. Your central nervous system consists of two separate systems. One is sympathetic, the other one is parasympathetic. The sympathetic system basically acts when you're in danger or trauma, it's your fight and flight response, Basically what it does is that it helps your heart to start beating faster and you feel it the most when you're under stress. The parasympathetic system does the exact opposite. It acts when the danger is actually passed. It unclenches your muscle, it slows down your heartbeat, and that's when you actually feel more relaxed. These two work together, so they're balancing each other. If one of them works more than or harder than the other one, then there's gonna be an imbalance and that's when chronic stress happens. Let's be honest guys, a lot of us are under chronic stress on a daily basis. We're working out, we're taking our kids to school, we're working, we have projects, due dates, we have our social life, you know, a lot of things that are going on on a day that we don't get a chance or a second to sit down and really reflect and try to do things that works in favor of our parasympathetic system, right? As a result of this, we might experience a lot of issues such as indigestion, sleep apnea, so we can't sleep, we have bad dreams, or we don't remember our dreams. These are all problems that we might be experiencing. We might experience weight gain, binge eating, and all sorts of health problems that are actually linked to stress. So how do we really avoid that? Now before I talk about all the Chinese medicines and all the African and herbal teas that I wanted to talk about in this video, I wanted to share with you some of the very, very effective ways that I have found that helps me reduce stress on a daily basis. So one of the things that I wanted to share with you is going to sleep early. When you go to sleep early, and I have videos that talks about how to make sure you get your sleep schedule on track, once you do that, it helps you get enough sleep. When you wake up, you feel a lot more fresher and you don't feel as anxious and stressed throughout the day. So number one, sleep is really important. Number two, one of the most important things after sleep is meditation. You have to take a few moments during the day to sit down and clear your head. Now, it might be very, very hard to do in the beginning, but if you keep at it, you get better and better as time goes on. One of the other things that I do that I feel like it really does help me before going to bed is to write down all of my schedule and to-do list before I go to bed. And then I draw a nice lukewarm water bath and then I add Epsom salt and Himalayan salt and a few drops of lavender oil. I light a candle and I just sit there 15 to 20 minutes. I let all of the tension on my muscle go away. I feel really, really good and cozy when I come out of it and I feel like, oh, I just want to be cozy and go to sleep. Make sure you try that and let me know what you think of that trick. There's also three other things that I swear by. It's walking, meditation, and stretching. These three together really does magic. If you're not doing that on a daily basis, make sure you add that to your schedule. Don't stress about it if you don't do it for a day or two. And when you do it, you're gonna feel such a big and noticeable difference in terms of your stress level that you're going to wanna do that all the time. Now, without further ado, let's get into all the medicines and herbal things that I found that helps to relieve stress. first one is a very very strong eastern medicine it's called ichium it's dried leaf you can have it like tea and you might actually be able to find it in a lot of Iranian stores this plant is full of calcium iron potassium vitamin C and B and it's used when you're going through trauma or a lot of stress it lowers your heart rate and it actually calms your nerves a lot so make sure you give that a try and let me know if you like it 
Next one on the list is ashwagandha. It is found in India and Northern Africa. It actually helps you with stress, it lowers your blood sugar, and it also helps with joint pain. Another thing ashwagandha does apparently is that it increases your thyroid hormones. So if that's something that you're struggling with or you're taking medication for your thyroid, make sure you speak to your doctor. If you are interested in thyroid health or you suspect that you have any thyroid issues, make sure you check out the video that I listed here. I will also leave a link in the description below. So the next one on the list is Eleuthero or Siberian Ginseng. This one, it lowers the inflammation, it lowers your stress, it increases and boosts your energy and you feel very, very happy when you take it. This especially is very useful for new moms or people who work night times. It's important to take it before noon or before at least 2 p.m. because it makes you feel so energetic and happy. It's just kind of like coffee, so you want to take it earlier in the day as opposed to taking it at night time. The next one on the list is macro root. And the reason I mentioned that in this video because I feel like when we're going through chronic stress, one of the things that gets jeopardized, unfortunately, is our sexual health. And we don't pay enough attention to it, especially if you're in a relationship. So adding a little bit of macro root to your oats or shakes in the morning, it helps you boost your energy, mental clarity, and heals your sexual energy. The next one on the list is Rodolia. This one is really good for reducing inflammation. So especially if you work out, it reduces inflammation. It takes away the soreness a little bit. I feel like it's very very useful I like taking it on my rest days because it reduces inflammation just like Advil so if your goal is to build muscles you want inflammation so that contradicts it so I try to take it on my rest days not before or after my workout if you are interested to know a little bit about pre-workouts and the ones that I recommend make sure you check out this video that I'm gonna leave here and in the description below so the next one on the list is turmeric to me turmeric is Holy. It basically reduces inflammation, it helps with your mood, your happiness, your brain fog. It has a lot of medicinal properties that I'm not going to go over in this video. It requires a video on its own. The reason I wanted to mention it here is because it's cheap, it's accessible, you can find it in Whole Foods, you can actually get the roots, you can get the powder, you can add it to your food, you can have it in your morning drink, you can add it to ginger and lemon and have it as a shot. I'm going to go over that in a second, but I really do recommend you add it to your diet on a daily basis, especially if you have an inflammatory diet that includes a lot of meat, you must include turmeric to your diet because it has a lot of anti-inflammatory effects. Now, the most important thing is to mention is that the reason turmeric is so important is because of a substance in it called curcumin. Curcumin doesn't get absorbed to your body, you know, easily. So if you just have the powder by itself, it might not get absorbed properly. So one of the things I personally do to make sure that curcumin gets absorbed properly into my body is that I get the actual turmeric root, I skin it with a spoon, I add lukewarm water to it, and then I add a spoon of manuka honey to it and a little bit of ginger and half a lemon. I mix it all and I add a teaspoon of black pepper to it. This is very, very important. So if you're gonna have a drink with turmeric, make sure you have black pepper with it because that's the only thing that helps it absorb to your body. I mix it all and I drink it as a shot. The next one on the list is the holy basil or tulsi. This is not the same basil as we get in grocery stores or we add it to our pasta sauce. It's basically a tree or a plant that you could use for a lot of variety of different problems such as malaria, snake bites, nausea, God knows how many other things that you can use this plant for. There's a whole list of it on Google that you guys can go through. So the reason I wanted to mention on this video is because it's a very important plant. There has been over 24 researches done on this plant and we know that it helps with your lipid profile, it lowers your blood sugar, and it helps with physiological and immunological stress. The next one on the list is the Shisandra berry or Mongolian berry. They actually use the extract in Chinese medicine to help with a lot of different issues such as stress, depression, Alzheimer, and liver diseases. And I haven't personally used this, but I actually asked one of my Chinese friends and they told me it's actually very widely used in China. You could actually find this in powdered form pills, supplements, and some of the Chinese stores sell this product as a berry or juice as well. So the next one on the list is goji berry. It's quite expensive to add to your salad on a daily basis, but I really do recommend it. So the reason I mentioned that in this video is because the goji berry is full of antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, so it reduces stress. And one ounce of goji berry, if you compare it to orange, it has more vitamin C than an orange. If you compare it to carrots, it has more 
bitter keratin than carrots and if you compare it to soybeans and spinach it has more iron than them so why not just add a little bit of it to your salad I know it's a little it's pricey but just a little bit of it every single day and one pack will last you for over a month so as my last tip I wanted to mention three things number one is to quit coffee if you're having a lot of coffee during the day you want to cut that out it adds a lot to your stress every single day and I know you feel very energetic but that's causing a lot of problems for your sympathetic nervous system so you're making you very active and stressed so cut that down as much as you can you don't need coffee every single day you can replace it with a lot of other good things like exercising water and green tea green tea in the morning if you get the real green tea like the one I have here this one is really energizing and you won't even feel like you haven't had coffee I promise you you will get used to it within three days not the first day but you'll get used to it after three days and then at night time you want to add an herbal tea such as chamomile or some of the other things that I just mentioned in this video but chamomile is my go-to it's not as strong but it really helps calm my nerves and it puts me to sleep I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm really happy and glad to see that you guys are supporting my new channel following me subscribing it makes me feel so good and motivated and I want to make more videos for you guys let me know which one of the tips that I mentioned in this video you found most useful other than that thank you again for watching thank you for for supporting me. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.